Alrighty guys, so here I am coming across the Granada Bridge in Ormond Beach and I'm going to drive down A1A for, uh, throughout, through Daytona area so you'll see. So I'm going to drive down A1A from Ormond Beach all the way down to Ponce Inlet and record it so you guys can see. I'm going to stop by Starbucks first because it's a long and boring drive without the radio and um, there might be a lot of traffic since it is rush hour. Um, so I'll do that, so I'll stop in a minute and uh, start back recording. I've never seen so much traffic here, but it is rush hour. So this is Ormond Beach, and this is Granada, and at the end up here is A1A, and I'm just gonna go straight down A1A. We'll see how long it takes, because I have no idea how long it's gonna take, and they have text messaging going off and all sorts of things. So, um, I just passed, I think, where Food Line used to be. There used to be a Food Line here. Yeah, I did. And so Starbucks is up here, and I'm actually going to turn in here because I don't think I could turn in higher up. So I'm going to start. I'll record in a minute, guys. Alrighty, guys. So here I am. I'm going to tape uh, driving on A1A through the Daytona Beach area. I'm right here on State Road 40 or Granada in Ormond Beach, which is the uh, north of Daytona. And I'm going to head just straight down A1A through the Daytona area all the way to Ponce Inlet if my, uh, we'll see how long I record for, um, if I can make it all the way down there. So right now I'm going through Ormond and then I'll hit Daytona and then Daytona Beach Shores, then Wilbur by the Sea and then Ponce Inlet. I guess I'm gonna have to edit this. I'll stop at uh, I'll stop it at stoplights because I need to check my text messages, anyways. Again, no radio. YouTube copyright violation. These are filmed with pivot head sunglasses, so they're actually, you see what I'm actually looking at. Someone's in trouble. state they're from but they can't drive when I go back and look at the video I'll look at their plates hmm I think I might hit that souvenir shop up in the morning anyways I need to because I'm gonna go down State Road 40 uh, when I go back to Texas to 75 Now we're in Daytona Beach. Hmm. Don't ever stay at that hotel. It's a dirty hotel. did hot wire once and ended up there and it was a horrible experience. It was years ago. La Playa, La Playa, I would call it La Playa. You don't want to stay there. I always like this condo tower. I think it's the Med Mediterranean. Mm-hmm. And you'll start seeing all the little motels and hotels here as we get down to the main part of Daytona Beach where all the clubs and bars are. check my text messages so bad but I can't. Not a single red light. Here comes one. Five 
35 a night, 170 a week. A lot of these are 170 a week, or 35 a night, in case people are wondering. down here where, where all the bars and all the clubs and stuff are. We're going to be coming up on the Sea Breeze Bridge and um, that's where all the clubs are located. Like Razzles. The Desert Inn. I don't know what's going on there. It looks like they're remodeling it or tearing it down one or the other. And sorry about my mouth. It's a little bit frozen because of this uh, frappuccino. It makes it hard to talk. Souvenirs. All right, so this is Seabreeze. Down here is where all the clubs are. Um, the Plaza Resort and Spa. That's it right there. And down here is the Ocean Walk, like the center of Daytona. The um, beach band shells on the other side. There's the Bubba Gump and a lot of restaurants and stuff. You can see a lot of souvenir stores. Don't know where they expect you to park, but... So here's the shops of the Ocean Walk. You park in that garage and all the stuff are in there. Bubba Gump and the band shell and all that stuff. And then the Daytona Beach Boardwalk is coming up. And I finally got a red light, so I'm going to pause this and then I will uh, stitch these videos together. All right, so I'm recording again. Here is the, come on. Here is the Ocean Center. Um, and then the boardwalks over here. Um, there's all the stuff for the Daytona Beach boardwalk. There's lots of souvenirs. Hmm. I might go to this souvenir shop. Yeah, I did just those. Joe's Crab Shack parking is right over there. Someone told me this hotel here was on a Hotel Impossible or something. Um, I have the streamline. I don't even know what it's called. This will take you back down International Speedway. It's where everything is in Daytona. The Speedway. It goes right by Riddle. It's like the main street in uh, Daytona here. Okay, good. Another green light. Definitely watch your speed limit when you hit Daytona Beach Shores because their cops are always out there looking to write speeding tickets. So Daytona Beach Shores will be coming up pretty soon, I think in about three or four miles. When I lived here, this is where I went to the beach. I used to park here and go to the beach. I never drove my car on the beach. I wouldn't drive this car on the beach either. This goes to the Orange Street Bridge, with the last bridge down here, until you get to uh, Don Lawton.
This little hotel on the right is amazingly good for the price. The Studio One uh, motel here in Daytona. It's very nice uh, for what they charge. Very nice and very clean. Daytona Beach Shores, here I am. I think this is their cop that's making my radar detector go off. I did the Grand Prix motel before, it's okay. I wouldn't recommend it. somewhere around here at the wind Dixie I think yeah we used to have those in Texas till they went out of business The tallest building you see down there is the top of Daytona. That circle building, there's a restaurant on top. And it's still recording, I can see the corner of my eye. I gotta go souvenir shopping so bad. I didn't get to go to the beach today, guys. I really wanted to go to the beach, too. I have to go home tomorrow. I don't want to go back to Dallas. Biggins! <laughs> Strip club, for those of you who don't know. Hawaiian Falls. Those are water parks back home in Texas. I noticed Sunoco gas stations are huge down here. We don't even have those back home. So that tall building is the uh, top of Daytona restaurant is in there and I think this is some luxury hotel at least it was um, back when I had a friend used to work here it used to be the old Hilton I think while there aren't any condo towers on the beach. My mouth is really frozen right now. Still recording. I don't know if you guys want me to add music to this or not. Let me know in the comments because um, YouTube has freeware music that I can add to it after I upload it. That condo tower over there uh, to my right, I have a friend that lives in that tower. So it looks like Miami over here, condo tower galore. The city must make a ton of money in uh, tax revenue because you just look at how many people live in these buildings. It must be a public. Yep. It's like a new Publix. Huh. I'm just not a fan of Publix. I've been in quite a few of them. I don't know. I think they're overpriced. But a lot of people love Publix.
I was wondering where there was a Hyatt place, so this is at the Hyatt place. I didn't even know they had a Hyatt here in Daytona. Hmm. Better run. Because I'm not stopping. dinner plans with friends uh, tonight and stuff it's I have a lot of friends that live here so the um, it's just cool it's just I'm very busy when I come to Daytona it's not a vacation vacation there's a lot to do all right so now we're gonna be heading by Wilbur by the sea if it's still around and then Ponce Inlet so this is the last bridge to the mainland if you don't take this bridge you go down to Wilbur by the sea and Ponce Inlet inlet and it is a dead end and we'll see the Ponds Inlet Lighthouse. Um, yeah. We should see it. I've been really well with the lights, man. I've had almost all green lights. Only had one red light for a short bit. And I don't think there are any more traffic lights down here. So when I lived in Daytona, besides going to that beach, when I want to go to the beach beach to spend the day, I'd always come out to Ponds Inlet. Like my uh, roommates, my uh, sophomore year, uh, show me Ponce Inlet and that's where I always went to the beach To me, this is my favorite part of Daytona area down here in Ponce Inlet We're still in Daytona Beach Shores. Now a trick uh, for those of you when this A1A gets a lot of traffic, you want to take Peninsula, which is the other main road that runs on the back side of, uh, of the island here. Um, it runs close to the river and usually only the locals are on it. You can, you can get by pretty quick when, when it's a high tourist season. by the sea. I don't think they have any um, high-rises in Wilbur by the sea. It's all residential. What cracks me up is driving here. I remember the uh, song I listened to, um, Puddle of Mud Blurry. It's so ironic, or just the long story behind that, but it's funny that I remember it just by driving through here. No outlet. try to do that to the front of your house back in Dallas code department would have a field day with you mm, it's the bus I don't know what the bus is doing way down here
one's at the beach. The one good thing about Daytona Beach area is parking is free uh, for the beaches. Definitely have to be careful uh, driving in Ponce Inlet. Their cops love to write speeding tickets. to the pier just because I haven't been here in a while and I don't know when I'll be coming back. If United would do a direct flight to Daytona Beach, United, I would fly. I'd come here at least once a month. If they would do a flight from Houston to Daytona, it would be nice. I remember when they built this house, it looks like it's fallen into disrepair really bad. Holy crap. Still recording. So we're about to reach the end here. It turns into a park. I'm not going to go into the park. There's really nothing to see. There's the ocean out there. Those buildings you see down, um, those big ones at the very end, those are actually New Smyrna. You can't get to them from here. You have to go back up, cross the Don Lawton Bridge, and go down US 1 Ridgewood.
this is the last entrance onto the beach right here. Still recording, that's good. I'll go by the lighthouse, swing around, and then stop recording. These are all really nice neighborhoods. Someone got stuck. Yeah, I can park over there. Ponce Inlet Lighthouse is somewhere around here. No outlet. There it is. There's a Ponce Inlet Lighthouse, guys. Thought to run out of video anytime now. Look across the street. So this is back um, by the river now. All this is Ponce Inlet here. So I'm going to go back, park, and go to the beach. So I'm going to stop this in just a little bit. Those are the woods. It can get really creepy in there. I don't know why. Who the hell walks in there? Yeah, you see that walkway? You can walk in there if you want. I'm not doing that. 
All right, so here I am at Ponce Inlet. Hope you guys enjoyed the drive down A1A through the entire Daytona Beach area.